Uh, someone just keeps sending this to me. I'm not like 100% sure who this is. Let's see. The story is really close and personal to me and very uncomfortable to share. I was harassed and threatened by him and his associates when I tried to speak up as a minor. It took me about five years to share, and even now I don't feel ready. I'm sharing today because brave victims of him have stepped out and shared their experiences, and I need to have their back as well. Update. For the few that have an issue with me posting other topics and trying to continue with my life normally, the trauma does not define me. I do not want to be known as the girl who got groomed because I'm more than that. I have a life and a future to look forward to outside of this and will not let this strip away my right to live my life happily. This is how I'm coping. We grieve and we deal with trauma differently. If you have a personal issue the way, I just want to try to take it up with your therapist. Okay. Okay. Um, hopefully we'll figure... All right. All right. So it's called Disney Star Dad Groom Me. Uh, Rich Clark. I'm assuming that's the name of the dad. This is by Irene Kaya. Um, let's see. Okay. That was about a month ago. <clears throat> All right. So, let's see. Hey guys, so today's video is obviously something very different than what I usually post. I don't really know how this is going to go. I don't really know how this is going to even all end up. But I have been wanting to raise awareness about the situation for about five years now. And now's the time to do it because it's been over my head for so long. And I've recently had more girls come out with the same predator that, um, that was, um, that was. Anyway, so to start off, in 2015, my dad passed away and it was very traumatic for me. Um, there's a lot that goes into that, but I dropped everything and I moved to LA where I just wanted to start over, start clean, and just heal and move on from my past. So I got signed to an acting agency and they wanted headshots. So I'm guessing, I'm sorry, but I, this is this is Peyton Clark. Um, I just don't really know who he is, but okay, I'm, he's a Disney star guy, I'm assuming. Uh, I'm just trying to look into what's happening. So I found Rich Clark and I started working with him for headshots. Um, he's very charming, very charismatic. My mom came with me to my first shoot. I was 16 at the time, um, so the more I shot with him, the more he told me he did not want my mom coming on the shoots with me. Yeah, that's really weird. So she was 16. I'm assuming he was like 47, because apparently he's 52 as of the release of this article that I'm like reading at the side, so I'm assuming he was 52 now so 40 i mean there's uh, 40 i mean like 47 26 uh, 16 like there's no like, there's nothing there's nothing defensible there um okay because he just doesn't like parents crowding him whenever he's shooting children so my it's just weird though that is like a really weird unprofessional thing for like a, an adult to be like yeah i don't want your fucking kid there i don't want your mom with you uh, that's weird mom stopped coming with me because we <clears> didn't <throat> think it was anything sus at the time and like obviously one of the things too like i would think that's weird as a parent but I mean, if you're in this situation and you're like, he's like, yeah, I just don't like it when, when, when parents are around. This is one of those things where like when you're doing business with people they not everybody likes to do everything like officially perfect and you'll let small things slide, you know, like when I'm at, when I'm getting like a haircut and it's like COVID and like the guy's like, I know there's COVID, but can I put my fingers in your mouth? No, I'm just kidding. But you know, like the little weird concessions people make, like for instance, I went out to eat today. I'm not going to say where, and they have like, there's COVID protocols. So they give you, you know, they give you like little packets of food or packets of condiments. And I was like, oh, can I have sugar-free syrup? So they give me a whole bottle. Like, obviously, they should have like a sugar-free alternative that's not in the bottle. But it's like, okay, it's a little concession. And you're not going to have like a meltdown. I'm not telling you where because it's, it's a, that would be what you would write that off as as a parent. It's like, okay. And a lot of times people are, are designed to give other people like a little bit of benefit. Of that. It's like, oh, you just don't like it to be crowded. Oh, okay. I guess I get that. Now, I mean, you shouldn't let that go. But I understand that. That's just why I wouldn't really come off as too suspicious off the bat. And the more I got to know him, I developed a connection with him, and I told him about my dad, how he died just one month ago. He told me he would be my surrogate father, and that he would That's take weird. care of me and watch over me, and just treat me like I'm his daughter. So, at the time I was 16, grieving over my dad, um, that meant a lot to me, so therefore I put my trust in him and everything he told me to do. So, the more we shot, the more he would ask for more unprofessional poses and sexual poses like people ask me to like put my hands here or to like lower my pants with my hands it's really weird 
Um, <clears throat> so I'm reading this article and I can't find any physical stuff, but so it's talking about how, um, <clears throat> let's see, one of the first to go public with her accusations was Brittany Christine, a cosmetologist. Am I saying that right? Cosmetic. I don't know. Who is now 26, but dated Clark and Peyton's son when she was a teenager in 2013. So what is that? Seven years ago. So she would be 19. Am I, am I like, no, seven, eight years ago? So she would be 18 or maybe 17. Um, that's okay. She shared a number of her text exchange with Clark from that year. I, one exchange says, I love 14 year olds, as you know, to which she replied, you're not supposed to admit that. Or text back, no, I'm not supposed to act on it. I can think it all I want. I guess that's true, but it's also disgusting. Uh, now she's 23. Okay. All right, so this is the girl that we're reading. Okay. What the fuck? This guy's weird. And just stuff like that. And I remember no, this was, when, that was a different girl. Apparently, dated his the guy's son at one point. Whenever I would question him, he would manipulate me, but I didn't realize that at the time. He was able to trust him, to trust your surrogate father, and that he would never put me in harm's way. So I did. So I trusted him. The more we shot, he would lead us into more private, secluded locations. Like we shot at a cave in Chatsworth, California. And he started by saying, like, oh, let's do implied nudity, Ooh. take off your top, just take off your pants halfway. And I'm She was 16 at the time? What the fuck? That's fucking weird. I'm sure my early followers from 2015 to 2016 saw all those because at the time, a lot of people came to me and they were just like, Irene, you shouldn't be doing this. So I told Rich Clark, I expressed my concern and how I do agree with my friends and just people that I, I probably shouldn't be doing this. And he got very angry at me. I remember specifically. He got very angry and he was like, oh, am I not your friend? Do you not trust your friend? You don't trust your father? And that just kind of hurt me because my dad, my real dad and I, I was an awful kid to him. So by him, he knew that story. So by him using that same concept on me, when my dad's death was so fresh, um, it just killed me. So I was determined to do everything I can to please him to, I guess in a way, make up for how I treated my dad. You know, it's very interesting. And like so far, it like sounds credible everything. And if what she's saying is true, like this guy's disgusting. What's very interesting is like the way like um it's the question of like how did you come to terms with like what was happening in your life, like your trauma? And the reason I'm saying that is and this is just an interesting thing. <clears throat> it's very interesting because she seems very aware. So like if I would hope that she got this information from a therapist, because obviously like this takes a lot of understanding to, to come to these conclusions. But it's just interesting the way that people talk about like their trauma after they've become educated on it by a professional, which I'm going to assume that, that, that that's what happened. Um, because like you wouldn't know any of this uh, even upon reflection it's not something that you would understand unless you were educated by like a, a a credible source on this kind of stuff so so he told me to block all my friends that would go against him so i was very defensive whenever people question me about yeah i mean that would be that's definitely a big part of grooming is like not, it's it's not only just generating like the dependence and then it's cutting off other people in your life Right. And part of grooming too is grooming. Like it's very interesting is like part of grooming kids can be grooming the parents as well to some extent. And I don't know if he actually did that, but just by getting her to like disconnect from the situation, you know, like he, she trusted him enough to leave her alone with his, with her daughter. Uh, that definitely could be, that's like an aspect there as well. Um, the disconnection from friends and like saying like, Oh, well I'm like your father and like your friends don't know anything so you should cut them off that's just leading her away from more basically just like escape routes in some capacity he she's he's disconnecting her from like any type of support system that's not him my sexual poses from when i was a minor um i would get angry because he would get angry so i was expected to have the same reaction as he did he didn't allow me to have a boyfriend i secretly had a boyfriend behind his back but in the contract um he actually states that we are not allowed to have a boyfriend and I asked him why. He said because boyfriends get in the way of things that we were doing. See, like if I was going to be good faith and I can't be because so far he's like a disgusting fuck. There's times where like you're not allowed to have boyfriends if you're if you're uh, some kind of a celebrity. So that you can play on the parasocial relationship aspect between yourself and like your fans. Um, I, I don't think that that has anything to really do with it. Because he would have told her that probably. But. So after doing implied nudity, um, he resorted to full-on nudes of a 16-year-old. And I was so very was 16, uncomfortable with it, but I didn't feel like I had a choice because every time I would express my discomfort, again, he would pull that manipulative tactic on me and use my dad. 
and bring him into it. So we shot full nude. Um, all our shoots began just by him being like, oh, just throw all your underwear in the luggage. Just bring your underwear. My luggage um, changed from cute clothes, scarves, boots to just thong underwears and just see-through bralettes, anything he wanted me to wear to the shoot. And I remember I got crippled one time and I had crutches and we were still shooting while I was in crutches and I was bouncing around and naturally my boobs bounced when I did and he just expressed how it turned him on and how people would pay a lot of money for me to just jump on a trampoline and have um, these bounce around. And I remember thinking it was weird, but then feeling guilty and being like, he's your circuit dad, don't question him, don't doubt him. And I remember asking him one time why we needed to do nude and he got very defensive and then said that his son is a Disney star, his daughter is a YouTube star, so he knows how to make children stars. He knows what to do. So just listen to him and don't question him. The fuck? And I looked up his son and daughter. I'm really surprised this hasn't gotten like boosted more. Um, like you're talking about, like a Disney star's dad. This is like fucking is apparently like abusing his position of power as some kind of like a, mo a modeling agency or something to really like honestly groom kids. Um, and he's like 47 at the time, or maybe he's 45. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's still disgusting. Like we're not even playing on like a line of like, oh, they were 16 and the guy was 20. You know, we're talking about a fucking 16 year old, like a 46 year old, uh, something in that area. It's fucking insane. And indeed, they were like Disney and YouTube stars. His son is Peyton Clark. He's on some Disney shows, and his daughter is Acacia Clark. Um, I don't know if you guys heard from her back in the day, but she was really big. So I trusted him. He had reliable sources, so I trusted him. Who's Peyton Sometimes Clark? when I would hang out with him, um, he would point out girls that he sees on the streets, and he would be like, wow, she's such a fucking pig. She's such a whale. He would constantly put other women down and shit on other women, and that would make me so uncomfortable. But it's like I had to just... And he would be like, wow, out with him. Reliable sources, so I trusted him. Sometimes when I would hang out with him, um, he would point out girls that he sees on the streets. And he That's would be weird. like, wow, she's such a fucking pig. She's such it's weird that they're like hanging out outside of the studio. I, I, I question why the mom was like this instantly comfortable. So it's one thing to leave your, I mean, you shouldn't have left your daughter alone. And I'm not, it's not like, it's his fault, but you know, this is her support system that's, that's, that's left there. But it's another thing to like, let her hang out with a fucking 40 something year old man. Like that's insane. Such a whale. He would constantly put other women down and shit on other women. And that would make me so uncomfortable, but it's like, I had to just agree with him. Whatever he said, I just had to be his little puppet. If it's I anything but it's that, the show, I guess. then I get all the guilt thrown on me. I get all that negativity thrown onto me and I just felt guilty after that. So he ran a big group of models. Um, he worked with little kids and um, my voice cracked. Um, he worked with little kids. He worked with people my age. And a couple times we had a big group shoot, which we were all fully clothed. That's where I met a lot of my friends that I had. I guess this is the show. Sorry, I'm like educating myself on everything in, in this vicinity of this scenario. Uh, I guess this was the Disney show. I've never fucking heard of this show, but okay. Now still, I met this one girl. Her name was Kaylee, and we clipped right away. We became best I friends. I think did. that's the original or one of the first girls. No, never mind. We did a lot of things together. We went forward. out together. I got to meet her mom, Renee. Um, this has to do with the story later on. So I was in high school at the time, and I realized he had posted my nudes on Instagram as a minor. A lot of people from my class got a hold of those nudes. And obviously I got bullied for it. Um, it, it was just, it was, so I came to Rich Clark crying. I'm, I'm confused. How did he do that? Like legally? How, how did that happen? It's, it's, a, this is a little, I'm, I'm assuming it's like a, <clears throat> I'm assuming that it was a business Instagram. I'm just so confused. How did this how did this happen? Is there an Instagram link that we could take a look at? I don't want to see the picture. I just like what the fuck? Like how how did he get away with that? It just sounds so surreal to me. And I was just like, Can you please take them down? I was hysterically begging him to take them down. And he wouldn't. He said that the people who judge me don't matter. And if they don't understand me, then fuck them. They're not meant for me. 
which is true to an extent, but he just, he would not take them down. And he made it very clear that he owns the images and he can do whatever he wants with the images. That's like very, I'm trying to think, it just seems very surreal to me. Like, I wonder if they were fully nude or something. What I do find interesting though, is like, what would be the motivation for that? Like, so, I mean, I'm all, it's all speculative, but a possible motivation for that could be that she, he posted those videos, those pictures up to get her negative attention so that he could be there for her when she got negative attention to help her move through it. And then, but obviously that's very, that's, a, that's an assumption. It's very methodical. That would be actually be incredibly manipulative, but I wouldn't really doubt it based on the way that she's talking about this guy. He would post the photos of the nude minors that he took. And after we would like it and view it, he would go back and change the caption and put a link on it instead. So I clicked on the link and saw that he was selling my nudes and many other underage girls nudes online for $5 each basically. So he kept posting and posting the nudes and it wasn't just of me too, it was of other minor girls too. Me and a lot of the girls I met at the group photo shoot, um, got our nudes posted. Apparently he did the same thing to a lot of them to where he would convince them that being fully nude is the way to get to where you want to be because he had got our nudes posted. Apparently he did the same thing to a lot of them to where he would convince them that being fully nude is the way to get to where you want to be because he has Disney and YouTube star children. So we posted a lot of our nudes without our consent. And I reached out to them and we were all very uncomfortable with it. But the one girl that he did not post nudes of was Kaylee. And her mom apparently has been sleeping with him to try to get her daughter the hookups to fame. But one day I decided to text Rich and I was a long paragraph. And I was like, hey, I don't feel comfortable with my nudes being posted. And I explained, it was this whole explanation. I, I, I'm just curious, like, did she tell her mother about this? Like, how did that interaction go? I'm not saying that she should have had to. I mean, she might not have felt comfortable saying it to her mom because it was, like, a weird situation. I'm just, I wonder. On why he shouldn't post my nudes from when I was 16. Um, I think I was 17 when I texted him. And I was like, please don't be mad at me. I was begging him not to be mad at me, not to drop me as a friend. I was like, I hope this doesn't ruin our friendship. Please don't be mad at me. It's interesting that she said as a friend, only because like I'm, a, I, I mean, again, this is a lot of us assuming here, but I'm assuming that he possibly would have like made her consider this with a friendship rather than a professional business engagement. It's so weird, like how people aren't uncomfortable interacting with like, young people. It's really weird to me because I get uncomfortable, <laughs> like, because you know, like that's the that is like the modern day fear for a lot of men, like especially my age, is like. You're afraid that people will look at you and go like, oh, like you're inappropriate with kids. So it makes you like, like back off. Like, oh, you know what I mean? For older men, I just don't understand men who don't feel nervous. You know what I mean? Like, I'm very good. I'm like, I try not to interact with like younger people. And like, I feel bad, but that's why I, usually I won't respond to people in DMs. Sometimes I will if they're like, hey, Papa, can you check this? I'll be like, oh, thanks for showing this to me. That's pretty much my, the, the, that's how limited the engagement is. Like, I really try not to fucking, you know. I try not to get all fucking in it, you know? All that. And he replied and did his manipulative ways again. He was like, I'm sorry, I thought you were my friend. I'm sorry, I assume my friends will stand behind my back. He said to never talk to him again. So I texted him back and I was hysterically crying again. I was like, please, I'm so sorry. Like, I just don't feel comfortable. Please don't keep me in your life. We just still shoot, just maybe not nude. And he was not okay with that. He went off on me. And I just left it there. A few days later, um, I found out one of the girls I shot with, she told the story to someone else and someone else blew it up on social media. Uh, someone asked, I thought it was her father, father figure. I think he, from what she's telling us, it sounded like he was trying to pose as her father figure so that he could manipulate the situation there. I would have I, one thing. I was like, I hope she, maybe she shows any like text messages exchange between the two of them. I wouldn't doubt that he would try to be extra careful, but it sounds like some of these were texts. Okay, there seems to be a little bit towards the end. Okay. Yeah. He came back to me and texted me. He called me, as I quote, a traitorous little cunt and asked why I was spread such stories and told me that Kaylee hated me and told me that she said to never reach out to her again. And I was very confused. I was like, that's like my best friend. Like, why is she getting involved? So it was thus in the first place that he required all the girls' news to be posted. But when Kaylee didn't want hers to be posted, he immediately put her on the high chair. Her nudes didn't have to be posted, but everyone else's did. And that was suspicious, because if we were all trying to get to where we want to be, why isn't her nudes being posted? 
So I mentioned that to him. I was like, okay, but can you tell me why Kaylee's nudes aren't being posted if you strictly require all of our nudes to be posted? So he spun the story around. He went and told Kaylee that I told the public what happened. I talked shit about her, all this messy shit that I never did. So then he turned Kaylee against me and I tried reaching out to her, but then she sided with him. Um, and then that was the end of her friendship. She was like, I don't think we should talk anymore. And then she blocked me. Like, it was devastating. She actually, I considered her a very good friend of mine. There were little red flags too. Whenever we would shoot, he would tell me, I'm asexual, but you aroused me. You made me excited. I was- What the fuck? Jesus Christ. This guy, I, that's like a bizarre level of manipulative. That's like, that's like when you fucking start dating a girl and you're like, oh, I've never come from head before. And it's like, ha, ha, you know what I mean? And you're just trying to get them to do some weird shit like that. That's the kind of vibe I get. Sorry if that was an immature comparison, but I feel like it was, you know, something that people can identify with generally. Um, like, oh, I'm asexual. Like, I don't get aroused by people, but you specifically arouse me. Like, that's meant to make her feel special. That's fucking bizarre. Unless he really was asexual. Doubt it. 16. Like I said, I felt guilty questioning him, so I laughed it off. I convinced myself that he's just joking. It's just a joke. Your dad would never, would never um, say that to you. So all throughout our friendship, um, he said shit like that to me and to other girls as well. Specifically, a 14-year-old girl named Isabella who was Peyton Clark's girlfriend. He would go on Peyton's Facebook Messenger and pretend like he was Peyton, his son, and message the girl saying he wanted to leave his wife for her. And that's not the only girl, too. He oh, asked fuck. me to be his mistress. He asked this girl, Brittany, to be his mistress. Um, on the topic of that, the reason I decided to make the video today is because a lot of girls that shot with him before, they all sent me this TikTok that went viral. Um, her name is Brittany, and she's the sweetest person ever. She dated Peyton Clark for a little bit, so she really saw what happened. She saw behind the scenes and everything. She was a victim as well. Um, she was 18 at the time. She just turned 18. She made a TikTok explaining everything that happened, and it blew up. So all my friends sent it to me, Hopefully, she and that's what I woke up to this morning. It triggered me <laughs> a lot, and I'm still very anxious right now, if you can't tell. So I reached out to her, and or I told her my story. She told me her. Or maybe a link to the TikTok. That would be good. And she motivated me to share my experience with him. I think it's time that I speak up about this incident that happened. He's still in the industry. He's still working with children. And I feel like he needs to be stopped. He, he shouldn't be allowed around children. So a couple months after Rich Clark had cut me off, um, I was still devastated, obviously, because not only was I healing from my real dad's death, I was healing from someone who I thought I wish um, I wish we could have um, seen the TikTok. She would have like showed it or linked it somewhere. Was another father figure to me, and who I actually enjoyed the company of, and who I actually looked up to at the time. So I decided. What did she say the name was? If you guys can remember, I can maybe look it up myself. To raise awareness at the time, I think I was 17. I went on Yelp. I wrote a big review. I was like, please watch out for him. Do not let your children near him. And he immediately changed his business name on Yelp. And he came after me. And Kaylee's mom, Renee, came after me no, too. They funny. both harassed me endlessly on social media. They went under all my posts. They DM me. Oh, maybe so it then, is. I thought this was hers. Maybe. Oh, I'm wrong. That's my bad. I I clicked on it before, and I was like, oh, this is her. This is her own TikTok. I thought this was. And then like thinking about it, I'm bad with faces. And now look at these. These two are completely different fucking people. No, that was my bad. Okay in the last video that um okay so this video is grown. first when i was 18 i met a disney star on okay Cupid. we started dating um okay um okay he introduced me to his family on his first date and his dad immediately invited me with him and his son on a road trip okay i'm just muting the audio On the trip, he told me he was a professional photographer and convinced me it would be I'd be a great model. Started working together, and it didn't take long for him to start asking for very questionable poses. It's definitely inappropriate. Um, after working together without his son present a few times, he flat out asked me to be his mistress. And when I tell him his son, my boyfriend at the time, he doesn't seem surprised. He admits this happened before. Oh, Jesus Christ! What the fuck?
That starts telling me about all the young girls he takes photos of and how attractive he finds them. He sends me the wildly inappropriate picture of his picture he's taken, and I finally approach his wife at everything I've been told. Okay. They get divorced because of the information, but to protect her family's image, they all paint me as a liar. When I try to warn the parents of girls the father has been working with, the Disney star and I break up. They all stop speaking to me. I leave the relationship having been taken advantage of and groomed. Um, so I don't know. Based on what I've heard, I don't know if I would say grooming was involved. We we literally have nothing here except like an eighteen year old. So I mean, the guy's older and he's a piece of shit scumbag. I'm not saying that he didn't groom this girl because like everything that I've seen for what she's saying, absolutely grooming. But this reads more as like he used. I mean, he's using his. <clears throat> it sounds like he's definitely using his position as like a fucking photographer to manipulate girls into. Like taking pictures of them, absolutely. I don't know if I would consider this grooming. I mean, there's the grooming is a very methodical process, so I don't, I don't think I would use the word grooming at all. We have an 18 year old girl, especially that's a, definitely an aspect. Um, definitely inappropriate. I just think that the word grooming is just kind of thrown in there as like Some a old. flavor. But okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, I mentioned in the last video that um, some old screenshots that I had popped up in my memory, and that's like why I made the video. And I thought I'd share a few. Yeah, it's like pathetic that his son knows from the dad's perspective. It's like he does this apparently so much that it's just common knowledge. Like, yeah, my dad tries to fuck my girlfriend sometimes. It's really weird. If anything, if anything, I would be more concerned with like the potential aspect of like using his son to, uh, I don't know the word you'd use, to curate. I don't know. But to collect these girls for him, like the possibility of the dad. I, I know this is very speculative, but like the possibility of the dad using his own son to try to get younger girls to for him to prey on. You know, um, I know it's very speculative, but if he's, if he's not surprised by it, I wouldn't be surprised by this dad. So... My birthday party is totally like, okay. I'm fine, irritated, and stressed out, but that's nothing new because I can tell you know what you need. By all means, tell me. Endless sex with an older man. Okay. This is one. Pause to read. I just want to make sure like, you know, like he, she's 18, uh, for, by her own admittance. Um, this one I got like. You're so hot. So those are pictures he took of her all the time. He'd always be sending me stuff like this. This girl, um, I believe, was 15 or 16 at the time. That's disgusting. She looks amazing. I know. I kept coming to look at pics and pushing my, her boobs against my arm. Okay. That's fucking weird. Is she really 15 or 16? I did tell her parents. I believe this. What did they react to by saying that? Because, like, there's no way that they would be like, yeah, it's not a big deal. That's fucking weird. I believe this was about that girl. My dream girl is here and she's hotter than ever doing photos for her mom and I'm filming and then some headshots for her mom after that. Everything okay? I think so. Why? Okay. When I originally... These are fucking insane. Those, this one, people didn't believe me because it's so like... I love 14 year olds as, as you well know. You're not supposed to admit that. Haha. -ha. No, I'm not supposed to act on it. I think it and want it all I want. What the fuck? Is the, are these like I would question the authenticity of these two because these are like fucking huge self reports. I mean, these are actual like legitimate, just like objective self reports. You know, like yeah, you're allowed to have the feeling, the thought, um, as long as you don't act on the urge. But the fact that he's so comfortable expressing it is really insane, especially with like everything else involved, where he's apparently taking pictures of a bunch of underage girls. Like, I mean, this, this is a fucking disaster. This is the kind of person that you would not ever put around children. Um just straight up wrong but he would say stuff like this this one he sent me after i told his wife nice work watch your back that's rich police will love this no problem okay i can't actually show a lot of the actually like explicit photos he took but there are gross photos of me and his actual son so the dude's a creep i'm glad that chapter is closed i wonder if she reported the police okay that was fucking insane he asked me to meet up with him to talk because he wants to- No, that's not the girl on the YouTube video. <laughs> they look very different. Like, looking now, I'm, I feel like an idiot. ...to apologize and wants to work with me again. And being emotionally damaged and naive still, I said, okay. So I met up with him at a public place at McDonald's in Woodland Hills, California. And he showed up and he said he's sorry all this happened. He misses me. I think you all this so jelly jam nice, just cushy subscribe. stuff that I was stupid to believe. He said he missed his daughter. At the end.
and he asked me to take down the Yelp review and I stupidly It's so weird. Like I and listen, so this guy sees the uh, this guy's fucking insane. This guy's incredibly manipulative piece of shit. Like that. That's that's that, everything she's saying. There's no other fucking you know alternative perspective. He's hot. He seems like a horrible, like incredibly manipulative fucking piece of shit. Like a predator. I just I don't understand the mother of this girl though. And like I asked, I say that because like here's 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 my perspective on life. Just so you guys know, is that like you know there are bad people in the world. <clears throat> And then your job as a parent is to protect your kid from bad people in the world. And to me, it's like really bizarre that the mother, like the mom, let her go to McDonald's alone with a 40 something year old man uh, after they broke ties. Like, what was she telling the mom? Which doesn't really matter as much. Like, why isn't the mom skeptical? She should have like a better insight. The mother I'm talking about. It's just weird. Like, why are you so why is it so comfortable for all these things happening? I don't understand it the fuck no. he said yes because i was so emotionally overjoyed to fill the gap in my heart from when um, yeah maybe she told her mom possible my dad died so i took down the review and he never spoke to me again i received a lot of dms from a lot of moms thanking me for the post and saying that they shot with him and felt that he was very predatory Ooh. towards their child like their six-year-old children interesting so a couple months after I posted- I mean, for what it seems like he has no fucking, he just does, he hasn't hide anything. He just seems to be even proud of his fucking desires, so. The Yelp review and deleted it. I still felt traumatized. So I went to the detectives of my city to try to find justice, to just try to do anything. That was my last resort. I went to them and I had all the evidence. I had the photos, the emails, the text, literally every evidence imaginable i had his website with his name on it i had everything this investigation basically went on for months and it concluded with them showing up to rich clark's house and knocking on his door and asking do you know this girl he said nope i don't know her and the case was closed i went back to the police station and cried my eyes out i i didn't understand why they wouldn't help me the evidence was right there it was not only me other girls came forward too. We had an army of girls with evidence, rock hard evidence, and you just chose to side with a one word answer, no. And if that wasn't bad enough, they proceeded to tell me my photos of me as a 16 year old nude in sexual positions was not child pornography because I wasn't using a vibrator. I absolutely hate using this word, but yes, I was groomed. Um. It took me a really long time to accept it. And till this day, my mom doesn't even know about it. She's still dealing with trying to get over my dad. And I just, I okay. just can't. I guess that, that would explain it. Because <clears throat> mom was trying to get over the dad too. Jesus Christ. Mom was probably willing, uh, willingly ignorant because of the perks that came with her daughter shooting with a Disney star's dad. That's possible, you know. I get what you're saying. Put more on her like that, so. She, I don't know who Natalie Wood is. She doesn't know, and I don't plan on telling her about it. I feel ashamed. I feel ashamed that it happened. I feel ashamed that I let myself get into that position. And it breaks my heart knowing that my dad could be watching down on me and seeing all that happen. And I think this is a big reason why I take sexual photos the way I do now. Um, I used to love taking photos with like fashion, clothes, like I used to love that. But ever since I started taking sexual photos, it kind of became a habit. Like he made me feel so good about myself when I did it that I was like, oh, it feels good to show off your body. Oh so, yes, now I still take sensual photos and I'm more okay with it now because it is my choice to, but that's how I started doing it. So fast forward to now, um, 2021. So this is the guy? Is this the fucking, the pedophile dad, the fuck? Um, I reached out to Brittany, the girl whose TikTok went viral. Um, she was brave to share 
her abuse that she encountered while dating the alleged pedophile that's sorry i don't want to get into any illegal problems Payne Clark. If you just <clears throat> search up Rich Clark pedophile or literally anything, hundreds, literally hundreds of articles will pop up on him on all the things he's done to children and little girls. Um, I'm on Instagram right now. I'm on his son's page and his most recent photo. He hasn't disabled the comments yet, but everyone's, everyone's going after him because when Britney spoke out about Rich asking her to be his mistress, Peyton told her, are you really gonna make a big deal out of this? He sided with his dad. So that's my story. Um, I'm sure I left a lot of details out. I'm not really thinking clearly right now. This is very terrifying to me sharing my story because I know a lot of immature men and little boys are gonna come after me and um, dismiss my feelings for it because it's already, it's already happened before. I'm going to link Britney's TikTok below in case you guys haven't seen it, then you guys can go view it because she explains everything in a short nutshell, whereas mine was a whole video. I've always known I was going to speak out about this. I just didn't know how and I was terrified. I'm still fucking terrified. <laughs> it scares me to death posting something so close and personal online where people can just rip me apart if they wanted to. Um, I have a screenshot from Britney right here actually um, <coughs> where oh, yeah, he said, want to hear something cool? And she said, yes. He said, my dick was hard the entire time. I looked through your- Oh, what the fuck? I didn't see that. <clears throat> shots for the right pic to post. They are that hot. What and the fuck? And another screenshot I have right here from Brittany, it says, Rich tells her- And another screenshot I have right here from Brittany, Rich tells her, what about this in the shower but fully nude? And sends her photo and spell, which he did to me all the time as well. He says, I really want to do this one as it is shown. I might come during the shot, but it would be acceptable loss. So yeah. I think I think that person was eighteen. It still makes it's still disgusting because like the framing of the situation where that was like his fucking son's girlfriend or whatever. Um, it's just something to note. Yeah, thank you guys for. I wonder if he avoided text messages with like um like legally underage people to hide evidence of the situation. Listening to my story. Because nobody else seems to have like a, you know, message or anything. Or like any messages. Uh, so it's very possible. Um, I'm glad I finally got it off my chest and put it out there to raise awareness. And I'm truly sorry for all the children and all the girls he has done this to and now have to live with it. So yeah, I have a vlog set to drop tomorrow. And I'll post my Q&A sometime next week if I'm feeling up for it again. Thank you guys so much for watching and for listening. I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Well, that was obviously terrible. Jesus, that was a lot worse than I thought it was going to be.